Getting online has got to be easier than this. Welcome to PC Support TV, I'm Mike Halsey. When you get a new Windows 8 computer, the very first thing you're going to want to do with it is get online. Now if your computer plugs into your internet router with a physical cable, you should be online immediately, but over Wi-Fi it can be a little trickier. In this program, I'm going to show you how to connect to networks in Windows 8, but I'll also talk you through some of the simple and common fixes you can make when you're having difficulty. So let's start with a simple connection. You connect to the internet in Windows 8 by opening the settings charm. This presents a panel in the bottom right of your screen of six icons, the first of which is your network connection. Networks here are separated into three groups, wired connections, and if your PC supports it, mobile broadband and Wi-Fi. If you're using a laptop or tablet, at the very top of the panel you'll see a switch for airplane mode, and you should click this if you'll be taking your PC on a plane, as it will turn off all the radio and other communications on your PC to meet air safety laws. When you click a mobile broadband or Wi-Fi connection, you'll be asked if you want to connect to this network automatically in the future. You may not want to do this if you're connecting to an unsecured network, such as when you're in an internet cafe. But if you're using your own home or work Wi-Fi, or tethering from a connection on your mobile phone, then an automatic connection can be very useful. On a mobile broadband connection, you will also be asked if you want to roam automatically on this connection. Leaving this option unchecked can prevent you running up expensive data bills when you're out of the country. Click Connect when you're ready to connect to your network. Once you're connected, you'll be asked if you want your PC to find and share your content with other PCs on the network. This can be very useful on your home network or in the workplace for sharing files and folders with other PCs and with other people. If you're on a public network though, such as a coffee shop or library, you should always click no at this point, as otherwise you could open up your PC and files to data theft or the injection of malware. Let's look at some scenarios now, and I want to begin with using your mobile phone's internet connection to get your PC online. This is called tethering, and it allows your smartphone to create what's called an ad hoc Wi-Fi network, to which you can connect your PC or tablet to get you online when you're on the move. You might have data limits on your mobile phone though, and it's here that you'll want to carefully monitor the amount of data that you're using to prevent you going over your allowance and running up expensive bills. You can do this in PC settings by clicking Network, and then in the list of Networks, clicking on the one you want to change the settings for. Here you'll see an option to treat this connection as a metered connection. This can be useful because when your PC connects to your smartphone's Wi-Fi signal, it doesn't know the difference between being connected to a mobile phone or your home Wi-Fi. Setting a metered connection prevents Windows from using too much data. Additionally, you can show your estimated data usage in the networks list, and you'll see that this will show you, whenever you connect to that network, how much data you've been using so far. OK, so that's how you can get online and manage your connection. But what if no connections exist? This can happen when Windows 8 is first installed and the drivers, the parts of the operating system that permit the Wi-Fi system to function, aren't installed. In this case, you can be a bit stuck, as you'll probably need to get the drivers from the internet, but you can't get online to get them. There are a couple of ways around this problem, however. The first is to check if your PC or Wi-Fi card came with the drivers on a CD. If it did, then using this CD in your PC can install the drivers and get things working. 
You might be using a PC though, such as an Ultrabook or a tablet, which doesn't have a CD drive, or you might not have a driver CD, so what then? The easiest way is to plug a network cable, called an Ethernet cable, into both your PC and your internet router, and it can be useful keeping one of these cables around. Once you're online using this method, run Windows Update to search for the Wi-Fi driver and install it automatically. Alternatively, you might not have an Ethernet port on your PC, or Windows Update might not find the correct hardware driver. All is not lost though, but you'll need another internet connected PC at this stage. The manual or documentation that was provided with your PC should tell you which hardware driver to look for, or if you visit the website for the company you bought it from, look for the PC's model code in their downloads and support section. You'll find the correct driver here. You can then save this driver file onto a USB flash drive, which can be plugged into your own PC to install it. One last tip. If you use a USB Wi-Fi dongle to get online, and you're finding that after cleaning or moving your PC it's not working, just try unplugging it from the USB port and plugging it into a different USB port. This handy tip also works for some other bothersome devices such as printers. So that's how you can get your Windows 8 PC online, and that's all for this program. You can read much more information in my books, and I hope you'll join me on PC Support TV in the future. But for now, from me, Mike Halsey, I'll catch you next time.